Hey guys, on today's video we're going to be creating a Facebook account. So first of all on Google Chrome or Safari, any web browser that is, just type in Facebook and then your very first option should say Facebook login. So that's facebook.com. At this point you should be able to see this page. Now down here below on the right hand side you're going to see create new account. That's exactly where we need to go since we don't have an account yet. So let's just click right there. Once you click there it's going to ask you for your first name, last name, mobile number or email new password and then your birthday, gender, and then you guys can just click on the bottom middle. It's going to say sign up. So let's just type all this in right now. Once you type in your email, it's going to ask you to type in your email again, then new password. And make sure to type in a pretty good password and go on to birthday. Then keep going down and just select your gender. Under gender, you do have custom as well. So you could select any of these. For now, I'm just going to put in mail. And like I mentioned before, on the bottom, you're going to see in the middle sign up and just press right there once you're done with all this. The next step will be this. So it's gonna ask you for a code. That code should be in your email right now. So just go right into your email. I have my email right here. And I should be able to see Facebook, so that's my very first option right here. And my code will be down here below. So I'm gonna be able to just copy this over. So this code, it's very small, so you guys can see. And it's only five digits. So you will not have the same code as me. You're going to have a different code. So just copy that over. So we're going to go ahead, copy that over onto Facebook, paste it in there, continue on. And there we go. Make sure to check your email for that code. Once you're done confirming, just click OK. And there you go. You can get started with your Facebook page. So right now you're all done making your Facebook page this point in time you guys can add any pictures that you guys like and add any more personal information. So right now we're just going to upload our picture and uh, it can be anything that you guys like. So I'm just going to click on add picture which is on the top. You guys will see that right away. From there just upload any picture you guys like. So for now this is the picture that I chose. It can be anything really. And if you keep scrolling down you're going to see find people you know. So just type in their names or emails. Most likely emails is the best way to get to them and find them. And it's also good to go into our third option down here below. It's going to say take a privacy tour. Let's just go into that. So this tour is pretty important because right here it's going to highlight how you guys are sharing your stuff. Maybe you do want to share some of your pictures or information just to friends and not the public. But you can select any one of these. I'm just going to go into next. Same goes with tagging. Go next again. It shows you a little bit more of shortcuts into your privacy. Right here, it just tells you a little bit about apps. Some apps can access your profile. Well, that's another thing, but it's good to know anyways. Right now we finished. And right now we're gonna find people we know. So let's just type in an email or maybe tech and design. And then just search for it. And we're gonna see all of this. So you'd like to join any of these groups or pages, you guys can go ahead. It's uh, right here, join. So this is Canadian Landscapes, for example, if you like that, you go ahead and do that. However, like I mentioned, if you know people, just type in their emails. That's the best way. Right now, I did type in tech and design, so we found most likely pages and maybe groups that have something to do with that. Anyways, on the top, you will see your third option. It's going to say all posts and people. So if I want to find people, I can just click on people. It's going to find me people that are named tech and design or have anything to do with that matter. So right down here, I can see all these people. Now let's say I want to add any of these people right here. I can just click on add friend. So that's on the right hand side. You guys will see that. And you can select one of these. So I'm going to click right here. Um, you guys can also click on close friends. It's good to know that. So that's how you guys can get started with Facebook. Now, if you want to go into your own page on the top middle, you will see your name. Just click on your name and here's your page. So it's also good to just add a cover. So right now we're going to do exactly that. We're going to click on the top left hand side. It's going to say add cover. Now we can select the photo, select artwork, create a collage or just upload a photo. For most of you, it will make sense to upload a photo. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Once we select our photo, we just have to wait until it loads up. Make sure it's not too small. because It's not going to look great. I'm just going to move this around. So to move it around, I'm just dragging. I can drag up and down, whatever makes sense. Uh, for now, I'm going to leave it right there. And on the right hand side, I'm going to see save changes. 
click on save changes now this will reload there we go and there we go i'm done with my facebook page i can just click ok if i would like to post anything down here below i'm gonna see what's on your mind i can type in anything and post it up on my page so i can say new page for example and just post that now that's gonna post as just normal text so as you can see i just posted this i can put new page and it's regular text if i want to do something a little bit better Let's type in new page again. I can put a background on it. So I'm gonna see all these options down here below. And for example, I can select this red thing. That's gonna make my post look more like an image, kinda. I can select a green background. I can select special backgrounds. So just this one, this one, this one. So there's a lot of options when it comes down to this. Now before I post, I'm just gonna change the text a little bit so they know it's not a duplicate new page number two. I'm just gonna go ahead and post that. And there we go. So see, that's the difference between that type of post and just text. It does look better. It does have to be pretty short in order to do this. But uh, usually when there's a lot of text, it doesn't look that great. Other than that, if you guys would like to upload any photos, tag friends, put in your feelings, you guys can do that all from right here. But anyways, that's a quick look at your Facebook, how to create one, how to manage it, and how to post anything you like, would like. Again, if you guys would like to post any pictures, just click right here and select any pictures you guys would like to post. So I'm gonna post this one again. So it's gonna upload my picture. I can say anything about my picture. I'm gonna put in design. I'm gonna post it up. And there we go, there's my post. So as you guys can see, that's how easy it is to post anything on your wall here on Facebook. Hopefully this gave you guys a quick start into Facebook and how to create a Facebook page right now. If you guys would like any more information or you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.